what is process synchronization we have already discussed when shared data is accessed by two different processes suppose a is a process and b is another process and b is uh, doing some writing operation here at the same time if a tries to read there will be some inconsistent data okay so nammala joint account in the case of aranjirunno a um b um joint account holders aanengil b atm il ninnu paisa eduthondirikkana samayathu a vera or atm il ninnu allekil phone il ninnu account status update cheyan shramikkumbo allekil ariyan shramikkyo shramikkumbo there will be some inconsistency because uh, a or b withdraw cheyittundayirikkam aa or data correct aayittu kittanamilla so ingane a b um shared data access cheyumbo some issues varum so a and b ennu parayna process ne synchronize cheyanda avashyamundu okay so why we are using synchronization process synchronization means sharing system resources by processes in such a way that concurrent access to shared data handled thereby minimizing the chance of inconsistent data okay so maintaining data consistency demand mechanisms to ensure synchronized execution of cooperating processes so here we are going to discuss some process synchronization problems and the first one is critical section problem critical section problem that means critical section ennu parayna or code segment inattu shared data access cheyna ella code name ezhudiyanu uh, let me explain once more suppose uh, this is process a and uh, uh, process b which share a common code segment okay so here is a process a um process b um share cheyna code ennu parayunnathu ee oru region la annu vicharikkam then nammle ee oru particular code ne nammle critical section like maatu okay critical section code ennu parayam so ee oru section il ulla code ne ipo process a access cheyanengil ayalku maatra access cheyan kariyullu process a ee oru critical section code handle cheythu kaniyana shesham maatre next code ne vidaik accessibility kodukkunnullu okay so a critical section is a code segment that access shared variable and has to be executed as an atomic action atomic action means process a use cheyanengil process a mathram use cheya adinu shesham mathram process b ku koduka okay so it means that in a group of cooperating processes at a given point of time only one process must be executing its critical section okay at a time critical section execute cheynathu oru process mathram irikkum if any other process wants to execute its critical section it must wait until the first one finishes okay so here is an outlook of the critical section code here critical section engine irikkum uh, suppose uh, we are using a do while loop do and while these are the syntax and where the code resides code in the one portion entry section irikkum okay controls the entry into critical section and gets a lock on required process appo p a nu parayna process aadyam try cheynathu entry section pass aavaranu ee entry section pass aayi kanyal maatre ayalku critical part execute cheyan pattullu here again remember these are the codes okay aadyam entry section code access cheyum entry section code pass aayi kanyal it will enter into its critical section and critical section la namak ariyam shared data ayirikku undava and a shared data or shared code access edinu shesham or execute edinu shesham it will end up into the next section that is exit section here entry section la ayal or lock acquire cheyunnundu nu parnu okay lock acquire edinu shesham aanu critical section execute cheyunnathu exit section la a lock remove cheyanu cheyunnathu and vere edike resources aanu use cheyittullathu adellam remove cheyum removes the lock from the resources and let the others know that its critical section is over and remainder section i'll execute it okay so these are the critical section 
clear so this is the critical section problem and there are different solutions to critical section problems and we are going to discuss in one by one man manner and for a critical section problem here are some necessary and sufficient conditions necessary and sufficient conditions okay so what are the necessary and sufficient conditions that is important uh, in the point of view of an exam so first necessary and sufficient condition is mutual exclusion mutual exclusion in the barn yada we already parnya karin the niyana cooperating process means process a and process b are sharing a same uh, sh shared region then only one process can be in its critical section at a given point of time okay that is mutual exclusion mutual exclusion means one section one critical at a time or a part of that is mutual exclusion and progress is the next is necessary and sufficient condition that means if no process in its critical section that means critical section in the bar in the arm use in milia and if one or more threads want to execute their critical section then any one of these threads must be allowed to get into its critical section that is progress okay on the latin pair critical section access a yan talpari but nikin and dangalam or alka allocate ya in the land progress and bounded waiting is the next necessary and sufficient condition here after the process makes a request for getting into its critical section there is a limit for how many other process can get into their critical section before this process request is granted so after the limit is reached system must grant the process permission to get into its critical section okay or a process num and in the critical section will worry about a time spending on the area okay and critical section may need to request I still a lark um permission go to go in the land on a bounded waiting means okay are a key critical section now she put it in the our killer come critical session grand a you okay that is starvation number there at the party you know what's the meaning of starvation indefinite tight to be at the end or a case of area in the alum our our particular thread or process in a critical section allocate you so you should remember these three things these are the necessary and sufficient conditions even the course to complete the interview in it at India and again you can expect this problem what are the necessary and sufficient conditions for critical section and the one another mutual exclusion progress and bounded weight clear and these are the three important things and some other uh, uh, some conditions also there which are not important uh, like uh, hardware specification of the system and so on okay next um, so these are the critical section problem and uh, necessary and sufficient condition for the critical section okay next we have different solution for the critical section problems critical section problem in a different solution and hardware solution hardware solution is called monitor monitor software solution and operating system solution we'll discuss it in the next video okay Thank you.